Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our obstacles topic, let's look at our next test automation obstacle, which is called lots of rows. Now in this obstacle, uh, we need to count the rows in the table and we need to input the count into the text field, which is called the row count. And after that, uh, we need to click on the button. Okay, so these are the three tasks which we need to perform. As you can see, uh, this table has got around five rows, so you can count them. And then uh, we need to uh, write five here in the row count and then click me. Okay, so this is what uh, we need to do through automation. And as you can see, the table is dynamic. So uh, once I clicked on click me, the number of rows again changed, right? So you cannot just uh, go ahead and do a static way of counting the rows. You need to put a dynamic way of counting the rows and then you need to enter it into the row count. So let's see how we can do this uh, in Tosca. So coming back to Tosca, uh, let's go ahead and now create our module. So I'm going to scan this application. And here we are going to select all the three um, objects which we require. So we require the table, we require the text box, and then we require the button or link, which is called click me. Okay. And then let me also rename this uh, so that we can find the obstacle. And here, and then save and close it. Okay. And now coming back to our test cases. So let's create another test case here for the obstacle. And then we are going to add the module into this particular obstacle test case. So let's go back here and drag our module here. We can see the table, uh, the text box and the button, right? So here, what we need to do is use a property called row count. Okay, so Tosca provides you uh, two properties. One is row count, one is column count uh, in a table element using which you can easily find the number of rows and number of columns in the table. Okay, so for this, uh, we will use the row count property here, which will be equals to a buffer because we'll be buffering that particular value. Okay, so that uh, we don't have any static values here. It will always be dynamic. Okay, so I'm going to call this rows. And then uh, I'm going to make this buffer. Okay, so you can see uh, it will calculate the row count and then it will pass it on to the buffer, which is called rows. Okay, and then we can use that buffer to enter it into the text fields. So we'll use B of rows. And then uh, finally, we are going to click on this particular link, okay? So it's a pretty simple obstacle. Um, you just need to know that you can use the row count property to count the number of rows in any particular table, okay? So now I'm going to change this workstation to complete it. And now we can go ahead and execute this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it counted the number of rows, which is 10, and then it entered it into the text box, and then it clicked on the button. And this completed the particular obstacle, okay? So this is how you can use uh, the property row count or column count to count the number of rows and columns uh, which are present in the table. It may be a dynamic or a static table. Uh, Tosca will anyway count the number of rows and return the number of rows which can be buffered and stored in a buffer uh, value, which can be used uh, in later steps in your test cases. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.